Spring has sprung and it's that time of year to get outside. The rec department is already looking ahead at summer events for Norwood residents. Assistant Superintendent Katie Seastead shares some upcoming program highlights. Hi Norwood, Katie Seastead here from the Norwood Recreation Department and we're so excited that we are rolling into the summer. Um, if you have not got this already, um, this is our summer guide that will be in your mailboxes, should be this week, um, but there's plenty of activities for the summertime. Um, a couple key notes to, uh, if you have a pen or paper right now, April 4th starts the registration for summer camp, um, as well as all of our activities for the summer. So once again, that's April 4th. A couple of things to note. One, um, we are going back to doing field trips this year, so we're so excited for that. You'll see them in the guide. A couple of things to clear up. One in the guide, um, unfortunately, there's a lot going on. We have one mistake so far. Um, junior play is only located at Haas Pool, um, at the Haas location. And so there is no site at Father Max. Um, so a couple things just for summer camp. One, April 4th starts registration at 9 a.m. Two, all paperwork for camp, all of it, is due by June 1st. So if you register on April 4th and we don't have your paperwork, your medical packet um, that has the most recent copy of a physical, your camper will not be allowed to come to camp. Um, so remember June 1st, that's a bold deadline. April 4th is registration. June 1st is the deadline for summer camps. Um, we look forward to having a full summer. Uh, we're looking for uh, applications for camp counselors. Right now we're a little bit on the lighter side. So if you have anyone, we strongly encourage our applicants to be 16 years old or um, older. Um, and they'll have to be CPR and first aid certified. They will have to show a vaccination card um, or abide by the COVID protocols put through the town. Um, so that summer and our summer camps, so excited. And then we have our pools. So a couple of things, um, we are opening Father Max and Haas. We're looking forward to a great summer. One big change about the pools is, is that we're going to a FOB system. So normally if you get our pool tags, they're usually a little tag that has the numbers on them. This year we're going towards the FOB system like you would have at a gym. That way we can take your picture. When you go to the pool, you just scan in. Um, we're doing this, A, it's easier for the staff, but B, unfortunately, we've had some people in the past just keep passing pool tag back and forth. So this way we can identify who's on what pool tag. Um, we do have a, um, a pool tag Palooza registration day coming up. Um, so please be on the lookout for that. I don't know it off the top of my head, um, but that's when you can come to the Civic, register for your pool passes, get your pool tag so you're ready to go when the pool's open. Uh, we will have a kickoff event the week of June 24th or 25th. Um, so we look forward to seeing you at our pools. Once again, if you have any questions along with summer, um, we have a big update for summer in our pools. We have an adult swimming lesson class at Father Max. Um, so that's gonna be on night on Mondays and Wednesdays during the summer. Please register. We think this is a great um, program. We've had some feedback that adults don't know how to swim. So we're putting on this program for adults to learn how to swim. Um, so that's gonna be on Monday and Wednesday nights. That's Father Max. Uh, we are looking for lifeguards, WSI instructors, pool tag checkers, as well as pool maintenance. Um, and those are ongoing until spots are filled. We'd like to thank you so much, Norwood. We look forward to a wonderful summer. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. April 4th starts registration. Thanks, Katie. Check out the Rec Department website to register using the Spring and Summer Guides.